Hi everyone and welcome to day seven of the Facebook ad challenge. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to scale up your Facebook ad campaign, but when is your campaign ready to scale? So basically, you can scale up your Facebook ad campaign when it's either at break even or it's producing a return on investment. Obviously, if you're breaking even, you need to make sure that you're gonna make a lot more revenue and profits on your back end so you can afford to scale. Now, obviously, if your campaign is producing a two to one or three to one return on investment, then you can scale as well. So what I'm gonna do in this video is give you three powerful tips of how to scale up your Facebook ad campaign. Now, the first one is vertical scaling. Vertical scaling is just increasing the budgets of the ad sets in your actual Facebook ad campaign. Now, the first one is the most simple and it's probably gonna be the most applicable to most advertisers. And say you've got an ad set in your campaign that's performing really well, it's generating conversions, it's profitable, then all you do to increase the budget is increase the budget of that ad set by 30% every 24 hours. And you keep repeating this process until the ad set no longer converts properly or it's no longer profitable. If you get to this stage, just wind back the budget to the last known convert point where the campaign was converting and it was profitable, let the ad set normalize and your ad set should be fine. Now that's um, scaling strategy number one. Now the second one is slightly more aggressive and is ad set duplication. So say for example, you've got an ad set in your campaign, say you've got it at $50 a day, what you can do is duplicate that ad set and set it at a slightly higher budget, say 75 or $100 a day. And your goal here is to see how that duplicated ad set performs. So if you duplicate an ad set, see how it performs um, over a five day period. You wanna see if it's converting and ultimately see if it's ultimately profitable. If it's looking good, then what you can do is you can then scale that you know, duplicated ad set by 30% every day using the previous um, incremental um, budget scaling strategy. The only thing I would say about duplicating ad sets, you can sometimes encounter something called audience overlap. Um, and basically this means that, you know, obviously if you're duplicating ad sets, the ad sets, uh, the audiences are very simple or similar, sorry. So Facebook will essentially stop uh, your ads delivering because it doesn't want you to compete against yourself in the auction. If this ever happens, turn the one of the ad sets off and your ad campaign should start running again. Um, if that doesn't work, just relaunch the whole campaign and start from scratch. But that's something to be aware of when running, when duplicating ad sets. It doesn't always happen, but it sometimes can happen. Now that's vertical scaling. Now horizontal scaling is all about finding new audiences who are like the ones who are already converting. Now the first one is to find similar pages and interests that are currently converting in our ad sets. Now to find similar pages and interests, just go to one of your ad sets, click on the suggestions tab and it, Facebook selects a whole load of different pages and interests to target. So basically, you know, create different ad sets targeting this, these interests and different pages and test to see if they convert. That's one way of doing it. Now, the second way is by using lookalike audiences. Lookalike audiences are really powerful and you create lookalike audiences based on the data that you, you've already accumulated. So if you've generated leads, you can create lookalike audiences based on the leads you've generated and you can create lookalike audiences based on the customers you've acquired. Um, and basically, you can create lookalike audiences once you've got at least 100 people in your target audience, but I wouldn't recommend creating lookalike audiences until you've got at least 300 to 500 people in your audience, because the more people you have in the target data, the better the lookalike audiences uh, will perform. But if you just assume you've got enough data, what I would advise doing is create 1%, 5%, and 10% lookalike audiences based on the data uh, that you've acquired and then test those lookalike audiences in separate ad sets. If the lookalike audiences perform really well, combine them into one ad set and then scale using the vertical scaling strategies or budget scaling strategies that I mentioned just previously. So that's horizontal scaling. Now the last one is ad retargeting. Ad retargeting is so powerful and it's probably the most effective way to generate even more leads and customers from your Facebook campaigns using minimal budget. And basically what you wanna do is set up Facebook ad retargeting campaigns at each stage in your funnel because the whole point of a Facebook ad campaign is to drag 
your prospects through your funnel so ultimately they become a customer so definitely implement ad retargeting throughout your funnel process for each stage in your funnel so ultimately you can you know acquire more customers ultimately so that is how you go about scaling your facebook ad campaigns i hope you really enjoyed the challenge because we've pretty much covered everything now and there is only one last video to go which i'll be releasing tomorrow so thanks for joining me guys and i'll look forward to seeing you in the final video tomorrow